Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Etc and I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece Manga Chapter 796. Now the first thing I want to say is, come on Oda man. You can't just leave us off last chapter with Kaido on our doorstep and you don't even show him a little bit in this chapter. Come on Oda man, that was a real dick move. Nah man, I don't like you for that man. I don't like you, I don't, I don't rate that at all. What we do get in this chapter is we get to see King Riku, he is now preparing to take on the throne and we also do get to see a little bit of Rebecca and what we learn through the, throughout the chapter is that how these rumours these rumors have been started and they've been started by, by Kiros about how about what Rebecca's parents are like and just a little side story about Rebecca's parents and we then later on find out within the chapter that these rumours were started just so Rebecca can have a good life as uh, the princess of Dressrosa and not be like subject to these bad rumours which would have followed if everyone found out the truth about her dad being really being Kiros and to that I say fine okay that's acceptable. We also learn about Man Sherry's Devil Fruit ability, some more depth is given her to her Devil Fruit ability. We find out that she has throughout the three days, because it, it has been now three days since Don Flamingo has fallen, so we have learned that throughout these three days that Man Sherry has been healing everyone on Dressrosa and we get some more depth into her Devil Fruit ability. We see her take blood from someone who is healthy and then just transform it, give it, give that blood her healing abilities and then this blood in a new like ball form is given to those who are injured in whatever way and then it heals them. So yeah, like I said, there was just some more depth into a devil fruit ability. The most important thing about this chapter was the fact that now Sengoku and Tsuru they they're now on they are now on Dressrosa and they've come to just see what is going on basically and we learn through this what Fujitora Fujitor has been playing that what his little game with the dice fully involves and we get to learn that how every day he rolls the dice once and if any other number other than one comes up then he's like alright cool We'll go capture the Straw Hats and Trafalgar Law. And yeah, we just find out he, has, he hasn't been cheating. The past two days, it has legitimately landed on one. And he rolls again. No, he doesn't even roll the dice himself. He gets someone else to do it just to further instate that he is not cheating. And so, they, so today they have rolled the dice and unfortunately it has landed on six. So Fujitora, um, being a man to his word, he's like, all right, cool. Let's go capture them now. And just the Marines are just got Marines heading for the straw hats and we've got Marines heading for the palace as well for all the pirates that are within the palace. So Luffy and company they get wind of this and they're like, alright, cool, it's time to bail. And we basically find out through Bartolomeo that they've got a ship waiting for them on part of on the harbour and a part of just Rosa and along the along the way we have like people just on the path, got, like ready there to just lead us to the path. So, because the Marines were just on their doorstep, they decided to bell. And before I just talk about the rest of the chapter, I just wanted to mention how when Trafalgar Law heard that Sengoku was on the island, you just see a little speech mark and it says Sengoku. And so he's, I, I don't know, I think there's something more to it, like. Like, like he knows something about Sengoku or he's worried about, I think there's just more to it than the fact that we see Law sees Sengoku, I think there's something more to that but I'm not sure what but yeah I wanted to mention that there and then. So yeah we, the marines have come, oh yeah Bellamy, Bellamy was saved like he was bought, he was in the house with them, I didn't realise that, maybe I should have realised that that, was, that Sabo was there but Bellamy's there as well, he's with them and I'm like why man? Was feeding to the Marines or something, man. But yeah, he was there as well. So, but basically, they've all left now. They're all heading to the ship, and that's when Luffy's like, "Oh yeah, I was supposed to do something." So Luffy's going off on a side adventure when he should be really concentrating on getting to Sanji, because as far as he knows, Big Mom is on his case, but he wants to go off and do something. And 
that's everything that happens in the chapter really. I found it quite funny when you like you finally see Luffy's woken up and he's just having these conflictive emotions and then Zoro's getting pissed at him. I found that a bit bit a bit funny. And yeah, that's it really. My rating for this week is going to be a free and like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care, have a nice day.